today I'm going out a little bit more because oh yeah, you can see in the distance here that's the Har Gamal, the, the Camel Hill lookout. And from there we're going to see the view of the Ramon crater. Which is not actually a crater, but I'm going to explain that later. So look! A hole in the ground! A big one, I have to give you that. Before I came here, I've read that Mitzperamon is like a town that sits right on the edge of the Ramon crater. But it's like only from this spot can you really see like, holy shit! It's like hanging off the edge of a cliff. why Ramon Crater is not actually a crater. So, yeah, we're just right here on the edge of the crater. And, well, the Ramon Crater is not a crater because there was no impact, like no meteorite has fallen here. Uh, there was no volcano eruption. It was all, all of this, right? The all of this is due to erosion. And this is a kind of... Oh my gosh! There's a jackal right there! Ah! Or a fox. Wait a second. Can you see this little guy? Oh, now he's behind a rock. Is he gonna come out? Oh yeah, 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 there he is. And he said... The Ramon Crater, according to Wikipedia, is uh, not actually a crater, but a Machtesh. And Machtesh is something that only exists in the Negev Desert. So basically it's like an original name for this place, really. And uh, I read that Machtesh means like mortar grinder in Hebrew, because this is supposed to look like a... Like a mortar grinder bowl, you know? I guess there's something to it. And um, and yeah, it's something that occurs only in the Negev Desert. So you cannot see this anywhere else in the world. Super unique. And as you can probably see that I put some makeup on today because when I was watching the footage from yesterday, I just couldn't look at myself. I looked like shit. So today, I've put foundation on using this super universal beauty blender called my fingers. You know, so I was going like, ah, yeah. So can you take in all of this fabulousness? Um, and yet yeah, today also I carefully braided my hair, but the wind is so strong that it doesn't really make any sense to do that because, see, it's all ruined now anyway. So even though I've put up a lot, I've put on super huge amount of hairspray. Still didn't help anything. No, it's just, see, they're just, just flying everywhere. Um... So now I'm going to descend down to the crater. <laughs> I did just the most ridiculous thing that I could have done, which is that I put down my map and I didn't like put it back in my bag or secure it any other way. So the wind blew it away, and then I had to like go and chase it. And of course, just as I was approaching it, the wind again blew and like it, it flew away. But I finally got it. I finally got it. So, I mean, I could have just followed the road.
walking in a valley which is like a dry like river bed you know like uh, this is where like the there's the the water goes when there is like heavy rain you would have like a stream going this way and uh, so here there's the trail it seems like a big animal pooped here do you think it could be a camel because it definitely doesn't look like eye bag droppings or something Has to be like a something bigger than that, and definitely a herbivore. Interesting. Hot sun beating down, burning my feet, just walking around. It's actually not hot. It's like it's like eight degrees, but because it's sunny and I'm walking. at myself today because I was like oh my god I set out too late again but actually oh, um, actually I'm really happy because there's nobody here like no people you know and when I was up there at 10 o'clock there were these crowds, I mean, there were not actual crowds, but to me it felt like crowds, you know, there were people all around and I was just like, oh. you know, <laughs> it was, it was hard um, for me, especially because I wanted to, you know, shoot some videos and I just feel like a total crazy person talking to myself when there's people around. But yeah, here I am. Perfect solitude, the sun, the desert, which as the name suggests, is deserted. This is not bad, this is like, this is a really good day. I feel satisfied, like I wanted to see an actual desert and it totally does look like an actual desert, doesn't it? This, this one does, this one does, like the, the ain of that area did not feel like a desert it just felt like um i like being in the mountains somewhere but this is nice this is nice i wish we had that back in poland to be honest i mean just look it looks so calm i like it here It's so quiet, like the wind stopped for a moment, ah, starts again, and the sun uh, hid behind a cloud now, so this is like my last stop before the final ascent, which doesn't look really promising, I have to say, <laughs> but it's going to be easier than the descent, because there's, you know, the there's less slipping, you know, it's less slippery somehow when you go up. And there I go again. I had to let my hair break because... Seriously, with this wind it's impossible to maintain any hairstyle, really. I'm trying to be fabulous here, but it's not happening. <laughs> Back up at the at the Camel Hill. Okay, so other stuff is said about being so happy that I said it so late and that there are people. Forget it. I take it all back. Really, like it didn't get dark, but just look at those like dark clouds behind me. Yeah, the rain clouds. So there was a moment that I got really things got really scary, like because I said like well, if it had started to rain, I would have been totally fucked. I would not be able to make that way up there because the ascent was really steep and really narrow. And if those rocks 
had been slippery, you know, it, it would be potentially, it could have been potentially really dangerous. But, lucky me, of course, it all, the first droplets of rain like started to fall when the path already got like flat. So I said, I will, even if it starts raining really heavily now, I, I can, I would still be able to, to make the way back to the hostel. So I'm back you know, up at the cliff. I'm so happy. God, that was like, yeah, that, that was really scary. For a moment there, it was really scary. But, um, I'm here. But I'm pretty sure there's like this uh, quantum, uh, like, alternative universe where I just died. Um, you know, or a another quantum running universe where I twisted my ankle back down there on that rock and I'm also dead now, you know. <laughs> and not, not yet, but, but that, that, that other me is like flying down there and is probably going to die. And <laughs> uh, probably of cold in the night uh, and of starvation. So I'm so lucky I'm not her. <laughs> and there's probably like some super like, alternative me who makes all the right choices and she set out early and made it safe without any problems. Like obsidian, for example, 